there we go this is my uh, my heart flutters card and while I was making or trying to make a video this morning I made a different version um, and it's a butterfly version done with the same designer series paper whole lot of love um, but I am going to give it a little bit more of a twist this is the version I'm going to make today I've got all my pieces pre-cut I've fussy cut everything that I needed I've die cut what I've needed all we're going to do is put it together and I'm going to give you the measurements what we're going to be or what I have used is the you move me stamp set which can be found on page 170 of the current Stampin' Up! catalogue. The Move Me Thinlets, which can be found on page 214. And we're using, it looks like air conditioning vent <laughs> or a heating vent. That's what it looks like. Then we'll be using also the Sweet and Sassy Framelits. And they can be found on also page 214 of the catalogue. What I've done is I've used the whole lot of lovely DSP, which has got some gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, stunning designs in it. This is the sheet that I used for this card here. Um, I used this and this for well, this sheet, uh, this card, sorry. I'm waving it around. And what I've done for this particular card is I've used this but reversed and cut out a couple of flowers from this. And I've got it back on black cardstock, which has been an A4 sheet, scored in the middle, folded in half and cut at 10.5 centimetres. I've also used gold foil. Our gold foil sheet has been cut at 9.5 centimetres across here and 13.4 centimetres high. The DSP, the whole lot of lovely DSP, has been cut at 9.2 centimetres across and 13 centimetres this way. Now this is where the sweet and sassy framelits come in handy. I, um, I'll just grab them. Now I'll just check to see everything's still running smoothly here. Hi again, Michaela. Oh, sorry, Kayla. Michaela, I called you. <laughs> now the sweet and sassy framelits are what I use to cut this heart out with. And this is what I made from the gold foil. Here. I used this big heart for cutting this little piece out here. That's to put our heart that we're going to create with the this thing here. Now what I did was I cut the big piece out first, then I laid that over the top and ran that through the big shot, and that gave me this design. With the um, move me thinlets and this piece when running this through the big shot you have to run it through backwards like once and then run it back again actually take the sandwich top off and turn it and run it through again otherwise these pieces don't come out clean um, they seem to tear I think it might be because the gold foil is a fraction thicker than the or the silver foil, sorry, is a fraction thicker than the normal cardstock. So I'll just pop all these pieces over to the side. I haven't found a use for them yet, but I'm thinking. This out of the way. And this is the little die cut. You see what I mean by it looks like a heating vent or an air conditioning vent? And this is what it creates, this little piece here. All we have to do is get our glue, turn this over, and oh, new glue! Ah ha ha! 
I just threw it in a bottle that I'd used up away. So we get a little bit of glue, run it around the outside. And me and glue, I love my glue, and my glue loves me that much, I end up with it everywhere. Now what we're going to do is just really gently, and I've had dropsy so bad today, everything I've picked up, I've dropped. So we're just going to lay that on top, like so. Try and even it up a little bit, because we want everything to be square. Everything has to be square for this to work, for this, for the flutter action to work, basically. It, it has to be square to be able to see how everything flutters. If it's not square, then you, you don't get that effect. And Kayla was the one that actually made me, or sold me, on this set, because I didn't go to On Stage. And she told me that uh, the video the, or the presentation they did on stage for the You Move Me thing was amazing. So I actually went to Stampin' Up and I watched the video and I just fell in love with it. Stampin' Up website. Right, I'm shutting this down here. Moving this. Now, this is where this piece that I made earlier comes in handy. It comes in handy, comes into use. What we're going to do is lay that over the top. But first we're going to pop some glue around the back. Oh, this is the card actually, Kayla, this one here. I can see, yeah, this is the one I shared for the highlights on Friday night. And that's what I've been trying to make the tutorial for today. But, as things work out when you've got children at home, sometimes things don't work out when you've got children at home, as you well know. And I can't growl, they're just bored. They're just bored, that's all. Now what I'm going to do is just, as I said, lay this over the top, lining it up as best as we can, because the hole is made to fit that exactly. Now what we've got to do here now, other than remove it from my paper, is make sure it's all in place. Then we're going to chop these little bits off here. <laughs> Three-year-old problems. Yes, I'll, I've got six and eight. Isn't it wonderful? Well, I shouldn't say that. They are really good most of the time. It's just when they spend every day together at school and then they spend every day together at home, they get sick of each other and they fight. And... The tutorial video that I actually tried to make earlier today, I had to do it in three goes, and each one has got them in the background yelling and screaming and fighting. And I've tried to upload them, but they're just taking forever because there's three, and I was going to splice them and edit them and then do a voiceover. And, um, <laughs> of course, because there's three, they're taking forever, and I just thought, I'll oh, bugger it. I'm going to do a live video and work from there. Now... What I did, now I've got that all done and trimmed and ready, is I have my piece that I'm going to stamp on, the Flutter image, ready. And I'm going to use my Stampin' uh, foam adhesive strips. I've got them all cut up into different lengths here. I love these things. They're great for this sort of work. Now what you need to do is have a piece at the bottom. The piece at the bottom is to stop this coming out the bottom, of course. You don't need to have it all the way across. Um, I'll grab my paper snips and just clean this up here. When you used to do videos, I end up recording myself doing them. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do, I think. I, could, I don't know yet whether I can upload this to YouTube, um, how long it's going to be. I do have a lot of things pre-cut, but you've still got the fiddly work that you've got to do. Like I've, I have actually um, fussy cut everything that I needed, like my flowers. I didn't do that on camera. That's just way too long. Now I've got to try and centre that a little bit. Now what we need to do is 
only have the tiniest little bit, my head in the way, of wiggle room across here. Because if you have too much wiggle room, then it moves from side to side and you lose the, the visual effect of the fluttering um, because it becomes out of square. So we get as close as we can. Sorry for my head popping in there. I don't know whether it is getting in the way of the camera or not, but I do need to see. Okay, now I'm going to just put a couple of little short bits here because I don't want um, the card front to sag in any spots. I hate sag. That's what happens to women when we get older. We sag. Well, some do. <laughs> if you're unlucky like me, you do. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> dropped it. Where did it go? And that's the other thing. I've had dropsy all day today. Hello, Joe. I'm making a card at the moment. I'm making a version, my arm's going across, of my heart flutters that I made yesterday. You see the action there? And I made one today, again, this one. This one's got the butterfly inside it. See the little heart, or butterfly fluttering? I think it's amazing. And I'm just doing another one. Because me being me, I like to have things going right, and, and when they don't, I get frustrated. Right, so that's that. Now, I do want to add a piece on the outside, and that's, again, stopping the edges of the card from sagging, bending out of place you don't I don't anyway I don't like it I like a well-made card a card that stays strong and sturdy doesn't matter how many times it's used pulled with tabs on them so yes this is the boring part <laughs> me sticking bits down but When I uh, tried stamping the heart, uh, the heart, the butterfly earlier today, I had no idea how to line it up, so that was a learning experience. The little hummingbirds are really easy to line up, super easy. You just use the eye for the hummingbird. But with the butterfly, you've actually got to use the, the butterfly's head, the top of the butterfly's head. That's what I worked out anyway. Just chop another piece here. Nearly done. Go that way, I think. Come on, Kimberly. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to put that on our card front. Peel off our little pieces of paper. Put them to the side. Yeah, oh yes, there's more there. Now I'm going to have this off centre, uh, as, as in it's, it's going to be slightly higher. It's not going to be right central in the card. Um, don't ask me why, I just like it like that. Standing up, here's my card base. And lining up as best as we can. Now. Something I didn't mention that I should have, with the ventilation strips, there's fibres. You should get your little brush and just rub it across, just to knock those extra fibres off and make it a nice, clean effect. And I've dropped my card. Still drops it. Alright, now earlier, something I've prepared earlier, are my two little fussy cut flowers here. What's going on over this side? Nothing. It's frozen. Refresh. So I've got two little fussy cut flowers. So I'm just about to position those. I die cut one heart in black 
and one in silver using the smallest of the see how we've got two different styles in the sassy frame loops we've got a more curved bottom heart and a straighter bottom heart pardon me for these little hearts here i used i suppose that's what they call why they call them sassy they are a bit sassy aren't they more curvy so i want my mini stampin dimensionals now i've heard people say these are really hard to get apart what i did with mine was just bent bent them around a bit and that made them really easy to come off the uh, base so here we go the mini stampin dimensionals and they are awesome for little projects oops if you haven't got them get them <laughs> that's my oh no i've got glue Oh no, help. Ha, ah, look at that. I've got glue everywhere. Glue goes everywhere for me. Now, where's my little video over here? Uh huh. I just need to see whether there's anyone asking any questions. Sorry for stopping and doing that. I know some of you wouldn't have any questions, and if you just pop in and pop out again. But I was actually asked in a group to do a tutorial for this card and that's why I'm going to this length of having a tutorial made and more yep, more little standard dimensionals and is my live video still working I think you have sold me on the sweet and sassy frame loops. Oh, yeah, I love them. I use them quite regularly. They, um, they work well, too, with the lovely words thinlets, too, Kayla. They do. Congratulations on your win the week before, Kayla, uh, on the highlights. So this is my positioning for the flowers. I'll just check to see whether it's in... Ah, oh, yes, there it is, in camera. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the little black heart under. Uh, what did I do with that? like so you don't need a lot of adhesive to make them in, hold them in place so I'm just going to pop him under like so did I put that I did on the wrong side should have gone on that side can I pull him out yep In there. there we go, pop him in there, like so. Now I'm going to pop another little dimensional on the top of here. I love these colours in this set. The whole lot of lovely, it just, it is so lovely. And that's going to be the focal area. I'm going to put a sentiment in there, of course. Now to finish the front, other than the sentiment, I used the metallic enamel shapes in the hearts. And I'll put one up here. And I'm sorry for breaking up guys, I've got videos downloading and all sorts all over the place. I have. My internet's not the best at any given time so that's them uh, ah yes our is this my piece yep this is my piece so now I'm going to stamp the 
butterflies and I think I'm going to do that in Pool Party and Self Sky I think and I'm going to use the butterflies again I just like the softness of the butterfly for this the blue so I've got my clear blocks. Now how I line my stamp up, as I said it has to be pretty square. What I'm going to do is just line them up on the grid paper, using the grid paper as a guide. Then using this grid paper again underneath, lining them up so that the lines are nice and square. helpful if I've got the butterfly nice and square on the stamp. There we go, that'll do. And this one. They don't look centred but they are straight. Now I'll do the largest piece in the darker pool party colour. Just, just want to mark where the bottom of your heart is because I want the butterfly to sort of sit about halfway and again we're lining up with our grid paper why do I need a darker one a Bermuda bow what do you reckon Okay, I think I'm back. I disappeared there for a minute. I do apologise. My internet is playing up. I just waited for it to come back before I stamped. Now I've gone to Bermuda Bay for the darker colour. And then I think I'll use Fox Sky. So that's Bermuda Bay for the larger butterfly. And I'm going to use, not Soft Sky, Pool Party. Sorry, pool party for the second lighter colour. Now, for this, you need to, and I have to put my head in here, sorry guys, you need to line up the, the curve on this one so it's just level with the curve on that. Okay. I've got it, and as I said, I apologise for my head. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. There we go. That's lined up. Now the little butterflies' heads. This is the top. Got the top. The larger one has the top curve, and that one sits just underneath it. And it's really hard to see sometimes. Now what I'm going to do is pop that in here. See how you can just see it? Look at that. It looks amazing. I love it. <laughs> right, now I'm going to trim this. And I'll trim it down and I'm going to put a pull tab on it. I'm going to probably take two and a half centimetres off. And I want my pool tab. Oh, crappy. Caught my light on my sleeve. Now this is just going to be a, my pool tab. I'm going to fold it in half. And it was just a piece cut off the side of this. Fold it in half and then I'm going to staple it. Central. Hello Candice. I'm making a You Flutter My Heart, or My Heart Flutters, that's it, card. 
If anyone's missed anything, you can always uh, watch it again at the end. Now I'll just see whether I can reach, whether I have to chop a bit more off. Chop a little bit more off. Here. Hopefully I can reach now, and I'm hoping too that I've got staples in my stapler. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Oh, look at that. On camera, live. What's going on? I just might open that and have a little look-see. No, everything looks good. Sometimes you get a misfire. Okay. Try again. That's better. Now, I'm not sure what this is called, but that's what I used to make a little edge for 444. Four, four. Excuse me while I'm looking for a little bit of silver paper. And of course, because I'm searching for a piece of silver paper, I can't find a little piece that I had sitting here earlier. Goodness gracious me. Come on, silver paper, where art thou? This is where having things stacked upon stacked upon stacks becomes a problem. Excuse me, guys, I'm, I do apologise. I've got loads and loads and loads of silver paper. I'm just looking for my scrap pieces. And of course I can't find them. I will more than likely find them when I don't need them. So I'm going to open and slice off a little piece for you. Goodness gracious, more dropsy happening. Alright, I've got a little piece. Here we go. Lining it up, and I'm not on camera. Yep, just lining it up, see that how they line up there? Move it along, line it up. And don't move it, Kim. Anyway, that's the idea. You can use these little pieces as accents too. Get this out. Trim off the edge. Roughly. I have to trim it by hand. In a sec. Now, I want a tiny little smidgen of a piece just to cover the staple. Staples and I'm bumping everything and I do apologise. Here we go. Bit of glue. Nearly done. We are. Little bit of glue. And lay this on the top. Like so. Glue going everywhere. Trim that off. And that covers that staple nicely. We pop that back in here. And we just flutter away. Like so. Fold that down so it's not in the way. Now for the inside of my card, all I've done is a piece of Whisper White with the silver foil underneath, 2mm edge, and a strip of the DSP cut and trim. That's just to bring the colour through. And that is the new 
make my heart flutter. Pretty easy. I've just got to add the sentiment. Um, what colour would the sentiment be in? I might do the sentiment in pool party. Do you reckon that'll stand out enough? Or black today? I think black. and the stamps just for the my heart now I will post these cards and hopefully I'll upload this YouTube, to YouTube as well as what it is on my business page it has all the measurements I've read, read them out in the beginning of the video um, a few tips on how to use the ventilation stamp well sorry not in stamp die and how to get that coming away cleanly you have to run it through a couple of times backwards and forwards and then turn it and run it through again it's very important that you do this otherwise you will find that it tears when you're pulling it off instead of cuts neatly and that is because the gold foil or the silver foil the foil sheets I say gold but it's not gold are a bit thicker there we go and that'll be our card I'll just put a little glue dot underneath that try not to put my dirty fingerprint on it <laughs> for somebody who's had dropsy all day hasn't been able to get this tutorial finished in the traditional way I've gone bugger it and I'll do it live it's a bit um, like me fly by the seat of my pants but when I plan things they just don't work and I planned it and of course it didn't work. I'm going to put a little sticky dot in behind this heart of lifting. There we go. And here we go. We've got my heart flutters. And flutter away. It does. That's one. And my last one. Here's my second one. It's all made with a whole lot of lovely DSP. My heart flutters. And that one's with crushed curry. And the reverse of this DSP that I cut the flowers from. And then my very first one I used for the GDP entry. And for the, oh, Kylie's highlights. My heart flutters and it's got the hummingbird that has the wing. And that's done with gold foil. That's what I keep getting saying gold foil all the time. Anyway, thanks very much for joining me, guys. I will do my very best to post this video onto YouTube and add it to my blog. Otherwise, you can see it here uh, anytime you like because I will post it when I've finished on online. All right, thank you. Bye.